be doing a demonstration for Eat Your Stems. We're going to be making sliced cucumber salad. Let's start. Well, the first thing to start with is if you have long hair, put it up. Either put it up or put it, put in, it in a ponytail, put it in a hat, or something like that. Otherwise, the hair will fall into the food that you're making. Mm -hmm. And also, as you know, the most important step is washing your hands. Come on, let's go wash our hands. Use nice warm water Jack. and soap. Sing the ABCs. A, B, C. Or have you it twice. Okay, let's start. Our cucumbers are dirty. When you get a fresh cucumber from the garden, it's going to be dirty. So you have to go and rinse it off in the sink. Make sure it's nice and sparkly clean. Next, you're going to use your peeler to go ahead and peel off the green. Remember, don't have it like this. Otherwise, you could slice it towards your hand and slice your hand. Slice it this way. Okay, now that I did this side, you want to switch your rotation. I don't want to keep you holding here and going this way. Because I'll cut my hand. You grab this side and do it the same way as the other side. We're back. It's all nice and short. Yep. Now I'm going to use, grab all the cucumber scraps and we have bunnies. So we're going to put it in our bunny bowl. Okay. Now that we have our cucumbers, it's time to go ahead and chop. But before that, if you place mats dirty, they line, clean it up. You need a very clean workspace. Alright. Here are two different um, ways to cut. You can use <laughs> you can use a knife or a Take off your end that has Nikki's stem. Yeah, like I get mine. We have bunnies, so you can put it there. And then start chopping. This is your normal one. To chop, you take your knife, put your hand on top, and you chop. Oh my god, my cucumbers are the big ones. And this, if you use this, it gives it a special wavy thing. I don't know if you can see it, but it gives the cucumber something special. Here we go. And if you want, you can actually make this with us at the same time we are doing it. So the video doesn't look so long. Okay, now that we have cut up our cucumbers, it's time to go ahead and grab a bowl. Before we put the cucumbers in the bowl, we're going to go ahead and grab our peelers and put them in the sink. So we have a nice, safe workspace. Then keep your knives out because they are going to be used for later. Now put all your cucumbers in your bowl. cucumbers in a bowl, it is time to move on to the next <laughs> step. We're going to add garden peppers. So for us, we have a green garden pepper and we're going to need our knives to cut, cut it. Alright, so I'm going to use these peppers and I'm going to use this one, which is already kind of cut. All right, you only need two peppers, so you only need to use two. Right, and, now, and now I do mine. Is it's already on? And you just cut down, and there's seeds in there. Here, I 
Okay, so you just right. do the seeds. So you cut the same way we have done before. You, you hold your hand right on one side and the, your thumb is on the other. Then you're going to slice it. Oh. <laughs> okay. In this one, you want to just go around it. You don't, you don't want the seeds. So you, you see all this? It's firmly cut. Then, how you cut deeper is all you do is this. And then you get a bigger cut. Alright, another thing I would normally do is since these are kind of big, I like to cut them in half through the middle. And these just keep doing smaller and smaller till you got them all. This is how you it should look. Very green. And you can mix it up kind of with your hands so it's not all on the top. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get all these seeds off my cutting board by scraping them into the garbage can, compost, something. But for us, the chickens love seeds. I'm just washing my plate off. Sugar. We are done with our knives also, so we okay. can put them in the sink. And lastly, we're going to use a red onion. We, however, are just using minced onions, so we are done with our knives. And remember, do two tablespoons of sugar, white sugar. And now I'm going to stir with a spoon. Wow, oh, very sugary. And come on look at it. It looks divine. It's always good to test. Mm -mm. Mm. Now we're gonna add our white vinegar. It's totally personal preference, <laughs> but so you can add two um Tables of sugar, tables. <laughs> tablespoons of sugar, or one, and then you can do two tablespoons of oil, or just one. That's not oil. <laughs> well, whatever it is. It's vinegar. <laughs> vinegar, then. And white wine vinegar. Wait, it's white wine vinegar, right? Here I go with adding my vinegar. Make sure you go ahead and rinse the tablespoon off first in the sink because you're, gonna have, is new you're one. gonna have lots and lots of sugar on your vinegar. I can smell it. Are you gonna do it? Yep. Pour it on there and it should look a little watery. Make sure to mix it. So I'm going to add another tablespoon. Of sugar. And now I'm going to do my spices. This is celery seed. And I like to just sprinkle mine on, but you can do a half a tablespoon, a tablespoon. <gasps> that looked a lot. But oh well. <laughs> I'm going to add one cucumber. Okay. Then mix it so it doesn't stand there one cucumber. Now that, it's all, now that it's all mixed, let's use some iced onion. 
I like to just sprinkle it on, but you can use a tablespoon or half a tablespoon. And then mix it together more. Okay, now I'm going to add dough wheat, same as the other. I'm just going to sprinkle mine on, but you can either use a tablespoon or half a tablespoon. And now let's look to see what our master put Now let's look. Well, first we gotta mix it. Now let's look to see our masterpiece. Yours hopefully looks something like this. Now I'm going to add some dough weed myself. And hers looks a little different than mine. Everyone's will look a tiny bit different. <laughs> Let's compare them. So here's mine. Interesting, right? Alright, next we are going to add our iced onion. And I already did. Or you can also add um, red onion. Do you want to do that? Because I already added this. Now I'm going to add this. Actually, minced. Oh, minced. <laughs> <laughs> How much? How much should we add? You can just do a sprinkle, but if you want to be more specific, you can do a tablespoon or half a tablespoon. And to let you know, onion looks something like this. Alrighty. If you want, you can add some, some salt. salt as well. But then other than done. that, it's time to enjoy your cucumber. Hope you enjoyed our video.